話したかなカウンターパー記録取ったりしますペイリスペクス To the giant owl Breakfast was just delivered by、um, our friend Hoshi-san He is a chef who taught us how to make soba the last time Good morning, everybody. Ohayo gozaimasu. So, this is our second night here at Izukate,、uh, the beautiful, beautiful boutique hotel located in the beautiful、uh, town of Nakagawa Machi in Tochigi Prefecture. Yesterday, we had that amazing dinner. We were so impressed and not even joking. Not even joking. I gotta keep saying that because. Some people think we're over exaggerating, but the food yesterday was fantastic. So, once again, thank you to the chef at restaurant Michi. We cannot, go, we cannot wait to go back to the restaurant. So, this morning it's a beautiful day outside. It's really not that cold.、Uh, I was expecting minus eight degree weather, but it's really not too bad.、Uh, breakfast was just delivered by.、Um, Our friend Hoshi san. He is a chef who taught us how to make soba the last time. Once again, if you haven't seen those videos we made of our last visit to Izukate, check it out because we got a chance to make soba. And he is quite a character, such a cool guy. Okay, so Hoshi san has prepared us a Japanese meal. Here at Izukate, you can choose between a Western and Japanese meal. Of course,、uh, they must be. Um, ordered beforehand so that they can prepare for you. Have, we have、uh, white rice, of course, miso soup. I made myself some hot tea. You have onsen tamago, natto, you have some beef, you have、uh, yuba dofu, umeboshi, umeboshi, and then on the second plate, you got some kimpira gobo, daikon radish, spinach. Some pickled vegetables and strawberries, local strawberries. And then on the third layer, we have some grilled salmon and ham. And by the way, the rice is also local. Local koshi hikari rice. Itadakimasu. First, sip on my tea. Oh, shit. Oh. Seriously, one day I'd like to come back. Uh, with uh, just a couple of my friends and of course Satoshi, and just relax here. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay, I think I'd like to just try the rice on its own because it is local rice. Mmm, 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 When I was a kid, I never really liked to eat rice plain. You know, it's kind of bland, I guess. But once I started to eat different types of rice, I learned to kind of appreciate the subtle differences between the different varieties of rice. Some are sweeter than others, some have a bit more fragrance.、Um, yeah, like this koshi hikari, I, I feel like it has a bit more aroma. and It's not as sweet as, say,、uh, the rice I had in Yamagata. A sip of the miso soup, which is、uh, wakame seaweed and shiitake mushrooms today, and green onions. Mmm. Mmm. Oishii ne. This is the gyu niku no shigure, which is some beef with some onions. おいしいうん
That reminds me of my my mother's nikujaga. jaga. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. Kimpira gobo. I haven't had kimpira gobo in a while. Now that's carrot and that's um uh nani. Gobo which is burdock root sauteed in uh, soy sauce, sugar, meeting. Nice. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and crispy. Let's have some onsen tamago. This one, it comes with a little sauce. Onsen tamago sauce. It's like a very light soy sauce. You can eat it on top of rice or you can just eat it like this. I'm just gonna have it like this for now. Oh, she hit. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. Very nice. Japanese eggs are delicious. Yeah. They're delicious and they're fresh and they can be eaten raw. Although this one is not raw. See some salmon, some grilled salmon. In Japanese, salmon is called shake. Mmm. Oh, Mmm. Mmm. I thought it was going to be saltier. This is not shiozake. This is just seasoned very lightly with salt. And I have um, some takuan and that's uh, I think this is um, uh, Chinese cabbage, I think. And this is the spinach. But oh, no, I'm going to have some spinach. The spinach, um, it's boiled spinach with uh, katsuobushi flakes on the top. Um, most most of the time, you put some soy sauce on it, just a little bit, not too much. I actually like to eat it without the soy sauce. Mmm. So good. Because the katsuobushi already has like a smoky flavor. But most people like it with soy sauce. Mmm. Delicious. This is the yuba dofu. If it's good tofu, I mean... Yeah, you really don't need anything, but I do like my tofu with a little bit of soy sauce. Yuba, yuba tofu. Hmm. Wow. Eh? This is yuba tofu. Mm. It's like it's like eating tofu paste. It's it's silky and smooth. Mm. Yeah, it's a block, but it literally just kind of melts on your tongue. Yeah. Eh. I have the umeboshi. I know some of you guys don't like umeboshi, including some Japanese. Some Japanese people don't like umeboshi either. Mmm. Mmm. Spot. Mmm. Yeah. Take a bite and eat it with some rice. Mmm. And it's very refreshing in the morning. Finally, for dessert, I have uh, the loco strawberry. Tochigi is famous for strawberries. Mmm. I just discovered that Tochigi strawberries are fabulous. You know, Amao from Fukuoka is the very popular strawberries in Tokyo. I don't know. The tochiki strawberries might even be sweeter. Alright guys, so we have a full day ahead of us and I'm going to take you guys with us. Um, once again, I, I don't really know exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be filming for the Tabi Eats channel as well. So um, um, you guys have to make sure you watch that video, which is already out on Tabi Eats. Anyway, let's get the day started. All right, let's step outside and uh, let's uh, take a short stroll through the streets of Nakagawa Machi during the daytime. As you can see, it is a beautiful day today. Last time we were here, we went um, that way. We explored the mountain area just a little bit. But today, we're going to go walking around the town area. Yeah, this is the other room, Izukate. We stayed in this room uh, the last time we were here. No, 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 it's not this room, it's the other room. We have six rooms here. Um, yeah, this is the room that we stayed in. 
um, on the Tabi Eats channel. And the first time we came here, we stayed in the other room over there. Okay, so this is Nakagawa Machi during the daytime. And it's very, very quiet. Even at night, it's pretty quiet. But uh, during the day, well, early morning, it's even quieter. We were here uh, to check out the Hikari no event, the illumination event. And so this is all illuminated at nighttime. It was beautiful, really beautiful. Oh, I feel so good. Ah, kimochi. Ah, what a beautiful day. Ah, the air is really nice too. What a beautiful hotel. Don't you agree? It's such a beautiful hotel. Izukate. This is a little shop that we came to during the event, Bisu no Ie, which means the house of squirrels. And I bought this cute uh, handmade lamp made of a beer can. Yeah, this place is only open uh, a few times during the year. Yeah, and the next time they open is in uh, April, I believe. So I kind of want to come back in April to visit that shop again and see what they've created, you know, new creations that they've made. The other thing I enjoy about Nakagawa Machi is that they've left the old buildings like this one right here. Yeah, the shop is no longer in operation, but uh, the buildings have remained. Yeah, most of these buildings are very old. Like this one right here. Yeah. It's interesting. I wish I knew what these shops used to be. The other night when we were walking around, uh, there were a few shops that were open. But I was thinking, it would be really nice if they had a cafe, you know, because a lot of people came to the event, but there, were, there weren't any places where you could get like a cup of coffee or tea and it was really cold. So, you know, anybody want to open a cafe here? <laughs> I think this is a nice place to open a cafe. Across the street over there, that's the miso shop. Kaneko Miso and they supply the miso that comes on the welcome vegetable plate of the hotel. We also purchased miso here the last time we came here. Naturally fermented miso. Delicious. Very delicious. You got some private residences here on this main street as well. What a beautiful parking lot must be theirs that's a tailor right there I believe the tailor is in business I saw I saw them open this is the decoration for the for the illumination event yeah these Japanese umbrellas look at that beautiful hill in the back isn't it pretty you can actually go hiking up there there's also a museum. And there's also a bus, a public bus that passes by this street. Like this is a bus stop right here. And yeah, you can, you can get here by public transportation. It is faster by car. But if you're like me and you don't drive, no problem. Just take public transportation. It just takes just a little bit longer. But the bus drops you off right in front of Izuka Hotel. This arrow here, this uh, tells you which way the, the, the light event is. It actually starts from here. And it goes all the way down this way. But let's cross the street here. I haven't really explored this side. That's the museum over there. I, I, I believe that was the museum. I, might, I may be wrong, but I think that was the museum that we visited the last time we were here. We couldn't film it, so couldn't really show it to you. But it's a very nice museum. 
Oh, I wonder what's on this side. Very interesting. Uh, okay, I'm excited. I wonder why I never came on this side of the Shotengai. Because this Shotengai is not as busy as it used to be. I do notice there are many residences on this main street. I'm assuming that back in the day, it used to mostly be um, shops. What's this here? This is an office building. It's an office, some kind of office. I guess these used to be shops as well, I think. That looks like a uh, hair salon and a post office. I think it's a post office. Hmm. This looks like a tea shop. They have a tea shop here. Oh, I didn't know that. I wonder if they're still doing business. And that's a clothing store. Oh, they have, an, they have some, they have a few interesting shops on this side. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, we haven't explored this side of the Shotengai, this end of the Shotengai. Just know that there are, there are more shops on this street. Masiya Honten. Oh, I wonder if this is like a, little supermarket kind of looks like a little supermarket hey wow fashion house takasago that's a clothing store right there and what's here this is a pharmacy the local pharmacy Here's a delicatessen. Not sure if they're open. And here's another clothing store. Oh, it's nice to see more businesses open. Very happy to see this. And this is a gardening store. Wow. I love all the architecture. Look at this. Look at this building right here. I love that. And I do like this um, this building, the gardening store building. That's beautiful. Hey, wow, this is nice. Oh, I'm glad I decided to take a walk this morning. I woke up extra early so I could go on this walk before we have to head back into Tokyo. And this looks like the end of the Shotengai. Either that, or maybe it, it keeps going. I don't know. Huh. There's a hair salon here around the corner. There's a hair salon. And so I don't want to go too far. Yeah, I think. I don't know. There, there, there may be more shops down there, but we'll turn back. We'll go back from the other side. That was fun. I, I really enjoyed this walk. I, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you guys are enjoying this walk. This is a this is a fire station. A little house there. And this is beautiful Nakagawa Machi. The city of Nakagawa. The last time, the last time we were here, we really didn't get a chance to uh, explore this part of town. You know, we just kind of explored the area around the hotel. And we went to, you know, places like uh, the rice farm and uh, the rice field and uh, we went to a soba making place and the coffee farm and the mango farm. 
but uh, yeah, I didn't familiarize myself with this, uh, well, downtown area, I guess. So this is nice. This is the tea shop. I don't think the, I don't think it's a store anymore. I do see the word tea there. Maybe they just supply tea to restaurants and stuff. Here you can get stamps and postcards here. So maybe this is the local post office. It's down here. Someone's house. Hana no mise. So this looks like a florist here. Not open yet. I wonder what time all the businesses open up. It's around 9.15 a.m. So maybe I'm a little bit too early. Don't know. Monaco. Ah, it used to be a pachiko parlor. I wonder if they're still doing business. This pachinko parlor. Masuya. Nandarokoa. I wonder what this is. Mm, that used to look like some kind of shop over there. So, you know, while we're walking along this beautiful street, whenever I come to a place like this, um, I have mixed emotions because, as you can see, many of the shops are no longer doing business. And it's a beautiful street, it's a beautiful city. As you can see but there are no people and it makes me a little bit sad he really does at the same time Nakagawa Machi is doing their best to revive the city to revive the economy and it seems like Izukate the hotel we're staying at is the center of all this and that's, that's probably one of the biggest reasons why we love coming here because we get to, in a very small way, contribute to the effort of the revitalization of Nakagawa Machi. It's something that I think it's important to do um, because it would be kind of sad to see a town like this, you know, become a complete ghost town. Here's the miso shop. Still doing business. And it's all naturally fermented miso. Very delicious, by the way. One other thing, when, when you uh, stay at Izukate Hotel, uh, they give you a 500 yen coupon per person that you can use at many of these shops on this street. So that's a lot of fun. I wonder what this shop used to be here. It looks like it used to be a miso shop as well. And this building over here, it says Shiberia. And to me, it looks like it used to be a cafe, a coffee shop back in the day. There's this cute little building here. One of the things I'd love to do is I'd love to go to more of these types of places where, you know, the population is dwindling and uh, the town is struggling to get people back in. I'd like to help in some way. I don't know exactly how I would do that, but I guess um, promoting the place. I don't know, I really don't know, but it really makes me sad. You know, like I said, this place is, I think it's doing a lot better than a lot of um, places I've been to. Uh, there was a city in Okinawa that I went to. I don't remember where it was, but you could tell at one time it was bustling, but now there were no people. Uh, many of the shops were shuttered, and the same with uh, Yamagata, where Satoshi was born. Uh, his uh, downtown area is like devoid of people. And it's kind of sad, it's a beautiful place. One day I think I'd like to show you guys what it looks like. 
Yeah, let me know if that's something you might be interested in. Visiting Satoshi's hometown. I think he's a little bit nervous to actually film there. <laughs> but I think I want to force him. I think I'm just going to say, let's just go. What do you guys think? <laughs> let me know. And then we just, pa we just passed the hotel. The hotel is right over there. But I do want to point out a couple of shops here. This is a meat shop, Toriyoshi. And we picked up something for dinner here for the Tabi Eats video. Really nice shop. And then right across the street, they have a sweet shop. Probably m my favorite shop in the on the entire street right here. They have amazing wagashi here. So definitely visit this shop. I'm not gonna go in now because I become friends with the owner of the shop and he loves to talk. Last night, I think uh, <laughs> I, I just went in to buy some things and we ended up talking for at least half an hour. And I was tired, I was sleepy and hungry. I, I needed to go back to my room. So, <laughs> and I know he's looking forward to uh, chatting again this morning. I don't really have much time. So I think I'm gonna go last minute over there. We're gonna go back into the hotel because it's time to check out. So this is the coupon I was telling you about. Yeah, you get one of these worth 500 yen to use at many of the stores along the street. And so I'm gonna use it at the sweet shop I was telling you about. Because like I said, we became buddy buddies. <laughs> yeah. Well, this pharmacy is open right now. That's the meat shop again, Toriyoshi. Okay, let's go inside here. I kind of know what I want already. Here it is. This is Morikawa Ya Sweet Shop. Ohayou gozaimasu. Domo desu. Hai, cha, kore wa. Hai, ni mai desu. Alright, guys, finished purchasing our goodies. Actually, we, we just bought 1,000 yen worth of goodies. And, um,. We're gonna visit a couple of places before we hop onto the Shinkansen and go home. Hi! Hi. Salada, arigato gozaimasu! Gozaimasu! Hi! Present! Oh! 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 これ材があるあの私が作った星柿って分かりますか分かりますそして冷凍になっててあの解凍してくれるようになってるねこれ材が素晴らしいですありがとうございます田舎の味ですけどいやもう星柿大好きなんですすごい<笑><笑><笑> すごい好きで。うまいのを探してデパートですっごい高いの食べたりとかして。そう、あの安いのもあのもう手作りのも食べるし、でも星柿は好きで。Thank you so much. ありがとうね、本当に。Thank you. Thank you. Kaonishi-san, thank you so much for the gift. Yeah, thank you. And the salad. Uh, uh, Natalie, thank you so much for everything as well. Not a problem at all. My pleasure. ありがとうございます。またお待ちしております。Hi guys, so we have stopped by the Torinoko Sansho Jinja which is actually quite a popular shrine and is famous for having the biggest owl in the entire country. Yeah, the biggest owl. See, it says right here, Nihon Ichi no Fukuro, the biggest owl. We'll go check it. Oh my gosh, it's right here. <laughs> it's a cute owl. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's hilarious. Wow. But look at this entire area. 
Wow, it's kind of festive actually. There's some music playing and here's a little um, cafe here where you can get dango and a cup of hot tea. And uh, I think that's the main shrine over there. Here you can get some yakisoba. Here they have more dango. Oh wow, they have a something called the gold dango. I guess it's supposed to be lucky if you eat this. Wow, this is a pretty cool place actually. <laughs> what do you think? Isn't it interesting? It's interesting. Yeah. yeah. And the fukuro all is really cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And well, um, this shrine, it's a shrine, right? Mm -hmm. So this shrine is supposed to give you luck in winning the lottery um, and also um, what else? Fukuro. Uh, uh, yes, taking away your hardships. It says to look for your own owl. So this is according to your birthday. Um, Let's see. This is my owl right here. I was born in Showa 41. So that's my birthday there. Hey, and this is my owl. Gon Umare. Hmm. Okay, it says to um, pet the owl. So let's do that. And I guess it's supposed to heal my soul and what else? Give me luck, maybe. Mm. Did you find your owl? Where is your owl? Do. My, unfortunately, my ear is yang. Okay. Yin and yang. Yin and yang. So it's a yang. Yang. Okay. Mm. So, unfortunately, my ear is yang. This ear is okay. yang. Uh -huh. So, I have to take care of these things. Oh, all these ailments. Really? Oh my gosh. I have to pet. This owl. Yes, your owl is really cute. Yeah. Mine is here. Like, this is my owl here. Gon umare. Wow. What? Wow, it's a gold. Gold. Rich money. Rich money. Wow. Um, so it's not like my bad year or anything? Good year. Good year. Yeah. But what's what's all this here? What does this say here? Uh, you have uh, a calm mind, happiness, justice, loyalty, respect, and fortune, and health. Wow, all good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Good owl. Oh my god, I'm so happy we came here. Let's go check out the gigantic owl. So we gotta climb these steps here. Pretty steep snap steps. You know what? I think the reason why Japanese people live a long life, I think one of the reasons is because they walk a lot. It's a proper shrine. Wow. Pay respects to the giant owl. <laughs> it's a really cute owl. Hey. The bell of the owl. Owl bell. Hmm. I really feel happier. Okay. I really shouldn't be treating this place as an amusement park. But it kind of feels like it. Kin un fukuro onbashira. え、これ何これで3回だけ。で、で、これは、うん。両手を押し。え、で、これは何あって、で、こっちの、こっちの柱。うん。ああ。なるほど。全部は何が違うの意味が。え、意味があるんだ。金音柱。へえ。
Okay. We're just figuring out what to do here. So, I pray, I, I pray for something, something, something. Okay. It's a secret. It's a secret. Okay. Sankai tataka. Three times I hit with this stick. Mm -hmm. And put my hand mm -hmm. to this crumb. Uh huh. This is to pray for bitter food. Summer and bitter food. Okay. And praying to the god of spicy food. <laughs> praying to the god of salty food, the mountains, and the color black. It's really cold. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> and then finally, Sour this is food. Sour food. Pray for sour mm. food and uh, uh, spring and water. Spring. That's and what it says. Young. And youth. 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 Okay, we need that. I, I think I need that too. Wow. Nani? Oh, oh, okay. You put your wish here and you put it in the owl post. So if you came here, you prayed to win the lottery and you actually won the lottery, you come here and you write your, um, you write your, um, how do you say, uh, personal experience down on this yellow paper over here. This is very interesting to me. And, and this is the, the main shrine, huh? No. No? No. No? This is the main shrine. Oh. We've only just started. <laughs> really? Oh my yeah. gosh, I thought this was the main one. No. <laughs> I would walk from Ibaraki Prefecture. I'm gonna stay on Tochigi Prefecture. <clears throat> this is the actual Torinoko Sansho Jinja. It's a very old temple and it's beautiful. Here, there's an owl here. Mizukake Fukuro. Hey. Oh, I see. So you're supposed to do this. You're supposed to pour water on top of the owl. Like this. Beautiful. So this was originally built in 1543 and it was rebuilt in 1815. So it's quite an old shrine. Hello owls. I love this. I love these owls. But look at this. Look at these towering trees. Oh, it feels so nice. Okay, more stairs here. Let's go up. says from here you can see Mount Fuji from here. Wow. I do have to admit living in Japan keeps your legs quite strong. Wow, this really is the shrine of the owls. Definitely a workout. <laughs> Definitely a good workout, especially after breakfast. So the origami cranes on both sides. Whew. You can walk along this pathway. Mm -hmm. 
And here's the shrine. This is the main shrine. Alright guys, we're here for lunch at this place called Shimotsuke Noen. Yeah, we decided to come here before we head back home to Tokyo. This place can be accessed very easily by public bus or you can actually just walk here for about uh, between one and a half kilometers to two kilometers. If you're like me, you know, it's walking distance. But uh, this place specializes in organic local vegetables. And I know many of you guys like organic local vegetables. So that's why we decided to check this place out. Lunch is really easy. It serves as a course. Uh, the lunch comes with the salad bar, which they call the salad hills. You can choose an appetizer or a soup. You choose a main dish you, you can choose some dessert and of course it comes with drink uh, coffee tea or today's juice which is orange juice of course if you come during dinner time there's um other dishes that you can choose a la carte yeah but it looks pretty nice so they have a salad bar and this month's vegetable is the negi or the japanese green onion and horenso which is spinach i think every month they must change things up i don't know but they had a pretty nice variety of fresh organic vegetables and check it out this is what i got and of course this is all you can eat so you can eat as much veggies as you'd like i'm um, gonna try the the rape the carrot salad i believe um, this is supposed to be one of the best carrot salad in town Very, very fresh, very fresh, very crispy carrots. There are three different types of negi. This one, um, let's try this one. This one looks like a simple preparation. Mmm, mmm, that's good. I love the taste and texture of negi. Really, really delicious. And the Japanese one is uh, very different from the, the spring onion, you know, the thinner ones. This one is a lot more, I guess, milder when, when you cook it. And sometimes it's creamy to me. Mm. And this one is something else. They prepared it a different way with some um, chili pepper, I think. Mm. Yeah, this one's a little bit more flavorful because of the spices. This is also negi. What is this? It's like a casserole or something. It's been like baked in the oven, so there's like a crispy surface. And I think there's some other ingredients in there, like bits of carrots. I see. Let's try something simple again. This is a carrot. Mm. Mm. Really good carrot. And mm. mm. I love vegetables, I really, really do. Mmm, juicy. Mmm. Look at that, it's so juicy. Information you, you probably didn't know. Before YouTube days, I used to eat vegetable based dishes. So, this is my appetizer. I'm gonna dig in right now. So, this is like a, a potato cake. And there are two sauces made with uh, red beet and. I'm not sure what that is. And I, I can smell cheese from here. I think it's sweet potatoes. I wonder what that is. Uh, let's just give it a try. Oh, this is so exciting. Wow. 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 
Okay, the top layer is sweet potato, but the bottom layer is yam. Wow, so two different textures, two different flavors. Delicious. Oh, wow. This is exciting. When vegetables are prepared like this, I get really excited and try it with a little bit of the, the beet sauce. Mmm. That's nice. The beet sauce, you know, you get that, that distinctive beet flavor, red beets, with the sweet potatoes, the slight sweetness of the sweet potatoes, and the cheese. I think that's like Parmesan cheese on top. For appetizer, I chose soup. Minestrone. Like so, they're using so much vegetables. Mmm. Mmm. Beautiful flavor. Not only tomato, uh, onion, carrot, yum. Maybe uh, onion, carrot, maybe paprika, or uh, cucumber. Mmm. So much flavor and good, good seasoning. Yeah, seasoning mix is really good. Tasty minestrone. And water is special too. This one is a cucumber and lemon. Oishi. I like cucumber water. Yes, I like lemon water, but cucumber water is also good. It's refreshing. So my main dish is nasudori, the local chicken kunel. It's like a meatball using yuzu miso sauce, yuzu miso orande sauce. These vegetables are local harvest. All vegetables are from in Toshigi prefecture farmers. And inside of this meatball, they are using chopped lotus root. Mm. This chicken has a very nice flavor and the chopped finely chopped lotus root has an accent of texture and this yuzu orande sauce, yuzu miso orande sauce gives a very good richness I got fish today I do like fish two pieces of fish, two slices of fish looks super tender I also see some clams in here as well, look at that I see clam Wow, all these goodies inside. Mmm, mmm. That's nice. Wow, the fish pretty much just melted as soon as I put it in my mouth. It's so tender. Wow, really, really nice flavor. Not strong flavors, very, very like well balanced flavors. I feel like this broth is going to be very, very delicious. Mm. It's um actually dashi based, I think. It tastes like dashi to me. And there's a little bit of soy sauce as well for flavor. Really good. And you got a whole bunch of uh, roots vegetables like daikon. I think I see some gobo burdock in there as well. And then it comes with rice. I think this is multi grain rice. Mmm. And this is a soup. Looks like miso soup. There's daikon in here. I think that's um, abunage, which is like deep fried uh, tofu. Mm. 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 I see that. Mm. That's miso soup. You can eat as much vegetables as you want. Nourish your body with vitamins and minerals. Of course, you got three types of detox water. Of course, we have dessert after this. Like I said, the lunch courses come with a drink of choice. I got their orange juice just because they're using local oranges. Mm. Wow, that's super sweet. Really good orange juice. And you get a choice of uh, A dessert, B dessert, or C dessert. The A dessert is uh, apple pie with ice cream. B dessert with a slight extra charge comes also with a chocolate cake and a blueberry cake and uh, for an extra 300 yen, you can change the apple pie to uh, custard pudding. And that's what Satoshi got. As you know, how much he loves pudding. This is such a grand plate. It's decorated so beautifully. This is amazing. Mm. 
nice texture. It's kind of like a pound cake. This may be a pound cake, blueberry pound cake. This is dense but moist. Mm -hmm. The gato chocolate, the chocolate cake. There's some walnuts on the top, sprinkled with powdered sugar. Mmm, mm. very, very rich. Mm. It's like um, no flour chocolate cake. Really chocolatey, really good. Thank me, thank me that I suggested you get the pudding because I can smell the cinnamon. Feel all the cinnamon. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Mmm. 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 Very fresh apple filling. Mmm. Nice cinnamony. Which will go great with vanilla ice cream. Apple pie and vanilla ice cream is like perfect combination. Mmm. That was such a good lunch. This is cream. Japanese custard from Usually, the caramel sauce is already inside of this pot, but this one is separated. At first, I want to eat this pudding as it is. Very beautiful, silky, smooth. Mmm. Smooth silky cream custard from, but it has not only the egg flavor, they are using very good cream. Yes, Tochigi Prefecture is also famous for milk, so I think they are using very good cream. This caramel sauce. My cheek will go to go to my stomach following <laughs> this caramel sauce. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That lunch is really good, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the vegetable was so good. Yeah. It has a very rich flavor. Vegetable yes. rich flavor. Yes. And I like the fact that you know they use all local vegetables, mm -hmm. and if you come during the lunch hour, uh, they have a they have a place right outside where you can purchase the local vegetables. Yeah, look at this. All of these are local organic vegetables. You got organic uh, tomatoes. You have uh, these um, broccolinis, eggplant, cucumbers, daikon radish. Whole bunch of stuff here. Look how look how beautiful these carrots look. We both love vegetables. We really really do. It doesn't seem like it when you're watching our videos, but we both love vegetables. But only really good vegetables. Hey, look at this. This is a tea. It's a caffeine-free tea. Hatomugi tea. Oh, interesting. So, guys, here we are at Utsunomiya Station. This is where we board the Shinkansen take the train to Tokyo and then head on home. Uh, we had a great couple of days here at Izuka Day, our second time here, like I said. Um, you know, once the borders open, I really, really recommend visiting uh, Nakagawamachi and staying over at Izuka Day because it's a very one-of-a-kind, unique experience staying inside a 100-year-old traditional Japanese house. In the middle of Nakagawa Machi. Yeah, such a great experience. And um, I have to say thank you once again to everybody at Izukate and everybody in Nakagawa Machi. Everybody we met was so, so nice. I all, we always say this, even on our Tabi East videos, but uh, we're not even joking. Everyone, everyone we meet in Nakagawa Machi is just very, very kind. Very kind. And that's the reason why I can wholeheartedly recommend Nakagawa Machi and Izugate to everyone watching this video. Until next time guys, continue to stay safe, take care, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.